bugs. The sound of the word cicada might make your skin crawl, but for the first time in over 200 years, a unique double emergence will happen for some this spring. Andrew DiPaolo is back with us now. Andrew, where in the country will the cicadas be spotted? Yeah, Lindsay, certainly making my skin crawl already uh, looking at this image behind me. And uh, of course, they're creepy and crawly and coming this spring, they'll be making a long awaited appearance across a third of the United States. They could have up to numbers up uh, approaching one and a half million. Yes, that's one and a half million periodical cicadas per acre that will be infesting parts of the Midwest and Southern states in a unique double emergence that hasn't occurred since 1803. Cicada broods 13 and 19 will be making their way out of their underground homes for the first time in 13 and 17 years, respectively. Dr. Jean Kritsky, who authored a book on this year's double emergence, says once they emerge, it could be a flood of cicadas all at once. They start emerging in big numbers after the soil temperature reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've all, my experience is that after that, that temperature threshold is reached, you get a nice wet soaking rain, not a big thunderstorm, but just to soften things up, that triggers the massive numbers coming out. Oh, and does it get loud? Dr. Kritsky estimates that cicada calls can get as loud as 90 decibels, which is about 10 decibels louder than a plane flying overhead. While that's plenty loud, Kritsky says there's a glaring misconception with this year's event. But a lot of people are, are thinking that because there's two broods coming out in this area, there are going to be even more cicadas in that particular zone, and they're going to be even louder. And uh, uh, it's likely it won't be like that because where cicadas emerge depends on the history of the land use in the area. As we've seen in other states, the more clear-cutting for agriculture and uh, clear-cutting for urban development has reduced cicada population. So even though they, they may be a little bit of overlap there, there's not going to be that big of a of a patch to think they're going to have something like twice as many as you'd see. Don't worry, cicadas will be well to our west and south and pose no threat to northeast Ohio or western Pennsylvania. Kritsky says when cicadas emerge, their total travel distance is under a mile. He does add if you have cicada fever, brood 14 will emerge in southern Ohio next year, and brood 5 will reemerge across eastern Ohio in 2033. Yeah, and Lindsay, this is pretty fascinating. When I was talking with Dr. Gene, he said one factor in helping experts like himself and those at Mount St. Joseph University in Cincinnati track cicadas in this double emergence, it's an app called Cicada Safari. He says that if you have family or friends who live in the emergence zone, just have them download that app and send pictures of the cicadas where they are, where they're spotting them. That app will be able to create a live map of where the cicadas are emerging in real time. You'll be able to see those cicadas from the south to the north emerging very quickly this spring. Wow, that's a fascinating thing. Some of us have memories, pictures in our head of what these used to look like and sound like. So thankfully,